a region known for its vast grasslands, deserts and mountains. It's home to many ethnic minorities and has a rich culture. In the next five days, I'm going to drive through the area and see what it's like to visit Inner Mongolia. Five hours after leaving Shanghai, I'm in Ardosu. And I have got myself a car. Let's go to the Xiaomua and see some Lotho. So. Wow, now we are in the desert. It was already getting late, but I was really excited to have a walk around the sand dunes. And we settled in for the first night in the desert. I woke up early in the morning and I was a little bit concerned as to whether it would be a bit boring in the desert, but that really was not the case. I'm going to go Huasha, but the owner's daughter wants me to push her down the hill, so I guess she's coming too. Saba, quai bu quai. Quai. The owner then invited to take us to the green lake over the sand dunes. And it was a bit crazy. I thought we were just driving to the lake, not over the sand dunes. So out of all the deserts in the world, this is the only one that's tried to plant the trees here. And it looks pretty successful. So I guess I found it. <laughs> After that very crazy sand driving ride, I think he was playing with us a little bit, trying to go a little crazy. Hey, it was fun though. On the way back, we did get stuck for a little bit, but we were ready for the absolute must-do in the deserts. Riding a camel. I would have loved to have had another few days in the desert, but have to keep moving. On to the next place. So we were just driving past and we saw this Mongolian tent. So we're going to go in and try to get some local Mongolian food. It's Yangro Jangao. Some meat, which is lamb obviously. I don't know what these are or this, but we will try. Mm. It's like butter, it just melts in your mouth. Amazing. With our bellies full, we kept moving and soon arrived at Wudang Monastery. This monastery is the largest Tibetan Buddhist monastery in Inner Mongolia, built during the Qing dynasty. It's so peaceful here. All you can hear is the birds tweeting, and you can really feel how old the whole place is. After another 90 minutes of driving, we were approaching the grasslands. When we arrived at our hotel in the grasslands, it was almost dark, but there was a fire show going on. Fireworks were being lit, everyone was dancing, and we listened to some local music. A really interesting evening. In the morning, it was time to ride the famous Mongolian horses. Wow, this is really riding a horse. No one leading us in the middle of a field. Fantastic. We only had one day left on our trip and we decided to drive over three hours from the grasslands to visit a geopark. 
The drive was beautiful, but longer than expected, and we only had about 30 minutes before it got dark. You can rent an astronaut suit in the car park because it literally feels like a totally different planet. I feel like Inner Mongolia is often overlooked as a place to travel in China, but I had such a good time here. It's so unique, the vast grasslands, dramatic deserts and stunning scenery offer visitors a chance to be immersed in such a diverse culture. Whatever you're interested in, history, culture or even just enjoying the outdoors, Inner Mongolia is a destination not to be missed.